Hi folks, my granddaughter and I, uh, this November day, have been talking about ships that have went down in the Great Lakes, and she was interested in the song by Gordon Lightfoot, who's my personal friend, and, uh, he has given me permission to sing the song. So I got a director, her name is Renberg, and of course my name is Just Bill. So here we go, with no music accompaniment. Uh, I am going to sing this song just plain raw, because I know what it's like out at sea. The legend lives on from the Chippewa home down of the big lake they call Gitche the lake it said never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. Where the load of iron ore twenty six thousand tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. The ship and the crew was a helm to the Jews when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side coming back from a roll in Wisconsin. As big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and a captain well seasoned. Concluding, including some turns and a couple of street firms, with when they fully loaded for Cleveland. Then later that night when the ship bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? When supper time came, the old kick-up came on deck, saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya. The captain word he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew were in peril. And later that night, when the lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all said they'd made Whitefish Bay if they put fifteen more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They would lay, may have broke a deep and took water, and all remains is the faces and names 
of the wives and the sons and the daughters, oh, waiting in poor blood, unholy, lake urine rolls, a piercing din, the rooms of racewater mansion. Old Michigan streams in like a man's dreams. The island and bays are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron goats bow go as the mariners all know when the gales of November are remembered. In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed the church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down on the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they say, never gives up its dead when the gales of November come early. I'm sorry about some mistakes in that song, but uh, Gordon had some stuff crossed out, and I really didn't understand. Uh, uh, his uh, grammar there a couple of times because I'm a grammar freak. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy this song. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the band member uh, Renberg. I'd like to, to thank the producer and the director Renberg. And I'd like to thank uh, Renberg for her support in getting me to start them. And uh, good luck, sailors.